What's going on everybody? What do we have here? Oh boy, this is the next video. So I reached out to Seatbelt Planet because a couple of my buddies have had some great success with them and I was really excited, not gonna lie. I wanted to do something a little bit more custom to the uh, Octane Beast and I felt like this would be a great idea. So I reached out to them and we're currently in the process of doing a seatbelt swap. How freaking cool is that? So they sent me a couple samples of things I might possibly be interested in. And as I'm looking through, there really is only one of these colors that pops. You know, one's too light. I'm not really a big fan of the stripe, so ding, 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 ding. This color in here, it's gonna look so nutty. So basically, we're gonna take you along on this journey. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, I think uh, Mr. SRTB5 is gonna be swinging by, and we're gonna try to remove all of the seatbelts, uh, label them, ship them out to Seatbelt Planet. I think there's a day to two at most turnaround. My car is in the garage anyway, so it's fine. And then uh, we should get them back. I'll show the reinstallation of them, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is very exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm very optimistic that this is gonna look awesome. The quality that I've been hearing about from this company is top notch. Even just looking at their samples, everything looks cool. So in case you didn't realize, what we're going with is red wine, which honestly is probably how I would describe this, you know, all in all. Fun fact, I did just get the car detailed and repolished, so we have uh, two coats of ammo reflex on here currently. We're going to be putting one coat of ammo skin and we're following that with a coat of ammo cream. So we're going to be pulling the layering game. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, we really need the air on. Yeah, word, bro. The word of God, homie. This is this is that disaster. Disaster. What the fuck is this? Jeez. Oh. This is serious. On this here. Look. Just push the red. Ah! I'm pushing. Push the red button. Bink. Wow. You're That's it? You're spe hey. Whoa! Take it easy. Yeah! Calm yourself. Hello? Pull. Oh! Oh! What happened? My finger got clipped in there, dude. Got binked? Stop with the bink. <laughs> I feel like a police officer right now. Sir, what are you doing? Where were you on the night in question? I need more light! What are you pointing it at? I can't see! Give me an 18. Stat! Stat? Oh wait. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Ah! Well, I'll be damned. Well, give me that real quick so I can take these two out. Oh, well dang. Oh. Yeah! Take it easy. Oh, is this attached? Just take it easy, yeah. It points, I think it goes into it. Freaking frick. Are you exclusively an idiot or just like on certain days? Hold on. Is this attached to anything? Nope. Oh, baby. Just a couple of goddamn watermelons. <laughs> Where's the T50? Right here. Give me. Oh, you the, give me. Give me this. Take that off and give me. Can I see it first? Come on, yeah, here, look, see? Ah! Give me! Is it even gonna work? Huh? Is that even the right, uh... Yeah, it's a T50. Come on. Freaking... This is the, uh... Is that zoomed in? How about I... Can, uh, assist? You can, you can assist? assist? You got, you got the right, uh... Where's my, uh, focus daddy? Fo hey. We've lost focus. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good, Good camera. It's a great camera. 
What's your problem? Oh. Wait, are you cursing at me? So wait, look. Face reveal! Right, so so how do we get the other side out? Where's the other side? Well, the other side's somewhere in oblivion. So let's okay. worry about getting the bottoms. Oh, jeez. Yeah, baby. That's a bolt. Oh, it's it a... had Loctite on it, too. Yeah. Send it. T-50 here, T-50 there with his potty mouth. Oh, there we go. And then we've got, what are these, 18? I'm thinking it's an 18. So this will be an 18, like the bolt holding the seat in. So, this doesn't get sent to, uh... Are we taking it out, though? We're gonna take it all out, and I'll just leave it on the table, but it's not getting... Well, that, no, wait. No, that doesn't need to come out. This is the belt. So that's just buckles. So we just... This is a belt and a buckle. Yeah, so this is both. Rest in peace. Got it. Okay. Rest in pepperonis. So... This will... <laughs> Is this all one? Yeah. This might actually all go to him then. Am I incapable of pulling something up? You are. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It's all one Sorry. piece? Let Maybe. me see. Yeah, it's all attached. Alright, so... I guess... Place these bolts too. Well, watermelons have fallen. This all goes in one piece, I guess. Oh, God. Ah! Just, all right. So now all we got to do is get this disconnected, this, and this, and then we just move to the front. <clears throat> How are you on there? It's probably snugged into it somehow. Pull. Pull up? No, like pull out. You gotta give it some. You gotta give it some ginger. I don't wanna. It's not my car. Ginger it. Ha! Oh, there you go, bink. boy. How's that coming off? You just pull that? Yep. We'll just be careful. I, I'm pretty sure there's an airbag there. Oh boy, I might see it. <laughs> Do not. Detonate. Wait, should we disconnect the battery for this? I don't know. <laughs> you want, sure. Let's do it real quick. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I think if we're uh, if we're foobarring with uh, foobar e foobar. What's that? Yeah, we're, we're doing this in the middle of the video, but do this in the beginning. Ah! In, in retrospect, it's probably the safer thing to do. Oh, shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get this out. Mr. Uh, Workplay Drive. What's going on? You're going to make a guest appearance in my YouTube video because I don't know what the hell we're doing. What's going on? Oh God, how did you even get the bottom clips open? Oh, what bink. Are you, don't break anything. Oh, oh, come on, Daddy. Did you just bink it? Oh, wait, hold on. No, you didn't. Oh, wait, this thing. This, this video is going to be all over the map. Oh, there's more airbags. How much? This is a whole curtain airbag? It's like this a is. bomb. You're playing with a bomb right now. I know. I don't want to pull it too hard because there's a fucking oh, airbag boy. in here. Come on, bitch. Is this right now? Uh, we, we try to record everything that Dan does. We took the front bumper off. Yeah, and then... That yeah, and then that's Sorry, where... I was, I was whispering. I was in uh, Taekwondo. Oh, you're in Taekwondo? <laughs> it sounds like we're doing Taekwondo right now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I see what you're saying. The, uh... The, the dangles. The red one. The, uh, yeah, the female part. Yeah, the female. Yeah. You're, yeah, so, you're so... You're so... Politically correct. What did you just break? Did you just fucking break something? I hope not. Well, I fucking hope not. That's why I, I don't want to do this. Part numbers, get the parts. Yeah, seriously. What's the skew? Oh. <laughs> Where's Steve White parts when you need them? Oh. Dude, if this if this the airbag clip is still in. if this airbag pops in your face, I'm going viral. Wait, where's all this going? <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna have to do a lot of bleeping. 
get your head up under there or anything? No, it's stuck up his ass. He can't get it anywhere else. Oh, wait. Let's go, baby. I think he got it. Yeah, oh, shit. He got it. Let's go, Daddy. And then the uh, deck lid. We're good. Yeah, but how in the F does that come through there? There's a bolt right here, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. But oh, I'm saying. What is this? We have to pull that whole big ass thing out? Well, if it's about the size, a little bigger than a softball, right? Holy shits. And then with the metal brace that goes around it. Holy yep. ballski. So how are we are getting... You, you oh, I see. It's all T-50s. Yet? Hold on. Huh? Have you pulled the front ones yet? No. Okay, so this is your first time seeing it. Yeah, we, we, we started with the back. Because we figured this was going to be the harder. About something about the size of a softball with a metal brace around it, right? Yeah, if I swung this at somebody, I could do some damage. Oh, yeah. I could really mess their day up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have fun. I'll talk to you later, brother. Later, guys. All right, bye. Is that T50 in the bottom? Yeah. Hold on. T50. Is there one on top? There's one up here. Where? That's why I needed the ratchet. So that's a T50 there and a T50 there. So let's pull that whole fucker out. Let's just show them what happens here. Because this whole piece, these pieces can't go through here. So this has to stay attached. Now uh, it, it unclips. And it's got clips. Uh, even that doesn't really do much though. I'll show you. It, it's hard. I had to do it out of the car. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I could get it one handed. Oh, really? Without breaking it? Because you gotta go here. Hold on. <coughs> Without breaking it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, it still stays in there. <laughs> Did you really just break it? <laughs> that was no force at all. Sweet. Goes through. And what are you left with? You left with a whole bunch of shenanigans. Do the best we can with what we got. Starts here, goes all the way down. Got the actual buckle. This is the clip. This is the other bolt on the top. And then there was one other bolt down here, holding this hole, as a uh, workplay drive would say, slightly bigger than a softball. And you gotta make sure you label everything because labeling everything is very smart. This is uh, what you're left with. Here we go. A bare cavernous area. That was the easiest. What? This? Where was that? Hold right on. Here. One here. There was one clip there. We'll hold on to that. There's one here. Hi, my name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Does this come up? Yeah. No, I think we gotta pull the fucking stupid things out. <sighs> Yikes, dude. This is just turning into a giant shit show. Got it. There it is. Now we just basically gotta... How does that stay in? That's just pressure held? Hold that? Whoa! Oh my god. Hold Harman Kardon? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Harman Kardon. Oh my god. What, what is this? <laughs> I thought it was a Starburst wrapper for a second. Dude, this is not all over me. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, even the interior's got paint. Look at this. I should, Holy shit. I should put like sealing on this. Yeah. What the f Someone left tape behind? I don't know. F you, Dodge. Well, here's the deal. So, we're not putting this back in. Okay. Obviously. So why don't you try unclipping that now? Did you fart? <laughs> you definitely farted. I told you. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? It's like tangy. Work. <laughs> it might be sitting in my underwear. <laughs> I don't think I can. Right up there. 
so that's the last bolt. This is difficult. We're filming from outside now. Oh. Yeah, baby. Get that bitch. <laughs> Ah, that's the top middle. This watermelons. That quick? Beast. Bank. Hey, this one's got some foam on the side. This is the back middle unit. Okay, so let's recap all of the craziness that's going on right now because you know we had to take a break. Mr. SRTB5 had to leave and I called in reinforcements so Mr. Workplay Drive is on his way as we speak. Um, this is what we've accomplished. It doesn't look like a lot but let me tell you it's hot out. We've had an air conditioner on that did nothing. We were sweating drenched inside of the car. It's just cramped hot crazy and all of that good stuff but this is worth it. This is very much worth it. We removed the passenger side rear, the rear middle, and the driver rear. And just to recap, we are doing red wine. The two fronts are left, and you're going to ask yourself, what the hell? Why can't you figure this out, guys? Well, we just can't. <sighs> or I can't. Maybe I'm missing something. And that's what the purpose of my videos are for. This is real stuff. It's not some edited thing where you're going to think, oh, that went smoothly. No, it didn't. I want you to not be frustrated if you can't figure it out, and if you can figure it out, I want you to be able to rub it in my face, because obviously, I'm a half send when it comes to this right this second. Where we got so far, um, and where our thought process is, and this is where Mr. Workplay Drive is going to come in and lend some expertise, we ended up pulling up a lot of the trim temporarily. And yeah, there's smudge marks. That's really driving me nuts, so this car's going to have to get cleaned again. Um, we were trying to separate logically, you know, this piece from this piece, but it looks like they're attached, so I'm not messing with that. There's little pieces here that this clips, like, pressure fits it to, so that stays. The only way we were able to get to this point is because we removed, um, this trim here to be able to pop this side up and we did the same over here I had to lift this up to be able to lift this up so currently where we stand right now and I believe we have to plug the battery back in and move the seat out of the way because we're a bunch of idiots and we unplugged the battery I don't know what the heck went on here but this is all one piece right now as you can see it's moving as one so don't try to detach this I'm thinking as of right now, we are in this area, and we've got the headliner down a tiny bit, and I think what I'm guessing is there is a tiny little bolt that goes there, which is a shit show if that's the case. I'm hoping I'm wrong. So this is very stiff here. There's no bend or give, you know? I can see where I need to get the seatbelt out. But this part, this whole panel needs to come off. So that's where he's gonna come in. What is that, a bug? Dead. So that's where Mr. Workplay Drive's gonna come in, as always, to save my butt. Just as a, you know, a quick recap here. What we did here is we lifted the seat up, the base, unplugged the connections, okay? That's normal. We took the back pieces off here, the back rests, the back support. Um, so essentially the whole rear seats are out. Then we went to town, we took the side cushions on the seats off where they're just held on by one little bolt on the side of each of those. So those came off. We ended up having to remove the rear deck lid here, and as you saw in the video, there's really no bolt holding it. It's pressure fit, so you are going to have to drop this down on both sides and pull it out. Now, you're going to need an 18 millimeter for pretty much all of the bolts down here. 
and up there there's an 18 as well but it's a deep socket 18 so keep that in mind um, all of the hex type things the star bolts those are t50s courtesy of workplay drive thank you for that one I'll thank you in person in about 27 seconds yeah so that's the state of this right now here how the hell did you know about this what you just pop this I like trap door and I pulled on it Oh, you're just pulling trap doors. That's. <laughs> this is why I called in the big, the big guns. You're here for ten minutes, and you figured out something that took us two hours. Unflipping believable. So there is a bolt. One little flipping bolt, right there, hidden inside of this. What did you use to get that out? Um, <clears throat> I used this contraption. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. So if you pull it this way. So comes out. That's all she wrote with that. That just pulled and separated from it. Yeah, but it sticks in place. And all it is is like... Just like a couple turns? Yeah, not even. I think I'm probably out already. There we go. Found the honey hole here. The trap door. Trap door. Pulls it. <laughs> just, you know. Jesus Christ. Just a gag. You, uh, hold on. Yep. One down below. So now this is the last little piece here. All right, so it's just two little things right here. Just push it in and push it in. They push, push clips. I bet you somebody who is uh, not careful would destroy that. There's just one little last one bolt down there. Do not pull on that. You got a good view on that? Oh, I got a, a damn good view on that. So this, pry this out, Christmas tree clip. Christmas tree clip, the worst ones. Yeah, they're pain in the ass. They make me not like Christmas. <laughs> I can't ever not destroy them for some reason. They I think they're to just- be destroyed. They're just like, uh, they're just there. This works better with like a razor sharp screwdriver. Yeah, not my dull prior. Yeah, you just gotta be careful with this red pop tab. There we go. Like a boss. Done. She is out. Here we go. Everybody that types gonna end up in this next video while it's filming. See this? Look at that. Hi. <laughs> SRT8, Steven. 1200, okay, yeah. Anyway, that was that was nice while it lasted. Oh, yeah, we got a cock. So I spared the whole packing experience because, well, it was a complete poop show. Uh, I was on Instagram Live during it, so that's another reason for you to follow me on Instagram. Maybe some things will start popping up on my Instagram, my Instagram Live, my Instagram TV, all that good stuff. But here's just a quick overview. This is what the box looks like. And as you can see, I had to throw in some goodies because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to packing. I took a giant tube of bubble wrap and wrapped everything like crazy, taped it up with heavy duty tape, excessively wrapped it. Cause you know me, I'm nuts. They're seatbelts, but I excessively wrapped it. And then for whatever reason, I was talked into buying packing peanuts. So I threw those in there as well. I'm not trying to be mean. I was just, I'm just overly cautious. I don't want anything to get damaged, but I did apologize. So this is what I sent them. I've been trying to wonder what to do with these Adam's mint candy things that they send whenever I do actually order things. And here they go. I even threw in four different stickers from a sticker bomb package I had. I don't know, but these guys seem like really cool people. They seem like car people. I'm excited to work with them. And I just wanted to share this journey with you all. I'm gonna tape this box up. I'm gonna drop this off. And basically, that's gonna end this portion of the video. Now, part two is gonna come back once the seatbelts return. I'm gonna unbox them on camera. I'm gonna show what everything looks like. And we're gonna go through the whole reinstallation process. And then I'm gonna show you what everything looks like. So, if you're interested in this project, please stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot more to come because there's still seatbelts coming back. But again, as always, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If 
you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the color. Tell me what you think about the chaos. I appreciate all of that. And just stick around for more because I truly appreciate it. And I'm here to try to make some content. I'm not here to try to make some money. For me, filming this car and stuff, detailing and modding the car, that's the important part. That's where I want my channel to be. And I appreciate every single one of you that stops by and shows support. It truly means so much to me. See you guys on the next one.